the old county courthouse. Often the focal point for a community, today some of these old stately structures have been replaced by modern box-like buildings, but not so in Russ County. Of course, once upon a time, the Russ County Courthouse was also new and modern, but that was a hundred years ago. In Rush County, just about everyone knows of Wendell Wilkie, the native son who almost made it to the White House. But it seems as if no one knows the story behind these two fellows. The faces, there are two faces on the west side, just under the windows to the recorder's office, which is where I work. Um, I didn't know they were there until I started working here and had been here several years, five years. And someone said something about the faces. Well, I went outside and looked, and they're there. As the deputy recorder for Rush County, Janet Boyles is used to sorting out all kinds of county information. But try as she might, she just can't seem to figure out the identities of these two faces. There are four theories. Um, one of the most popular ones is that they're two of the three commissioners. The Rush County Courthouse celebrates its 100th birthday in 1996, and Janet has been busy collecting courthouse history for a centennial celebration. We have a copy of the souvenir program from the Cornerstone Lane and some of the newspaper articles about that. We have a group working on a color picture book. We have some... A hundred years ago, the building of a new courthouse stirred up quite a controversy in Rush County. Residents didn't think they could afford the stately new structure. It even became the focus of a satiric poem in the local paper. When we think of it all, alas, we deplore it and think that the old one would have done just as well. The moss-covered courthouse, the weather-beaten courthouse, when this courthouse was built in 1896 to 98, there had been a drought. There had been hog cholera, and this is a farming community. And uh, many of the letters to the editor protesting, before they even announced that they officially that they were going to build the courthouse, there were letters to the editor, lengthy, lengthy letters to the editor in the local newspapers complaining that the people in the courthouse had better place to have their offices than people's homes were, so why did they need a new one? In fact, the construction of a new courthouse would eventually cost the three commissioners who backed the project their political careers. But what locals considered foolish in 1896 is today seen as foresight. A hundred years later, the Rush County Courthouse still has plenty of room, and locals are working hard to preserve the heritage of this now cherished landmark. Inside, we have the water fountains. If you'll notice, there's two on each floor. Uh, they're gold. They have a lion head, which we assume comes from the local school mascot, but we have no documentation for that. Um, there was reputed to be a continually flowing stream of water through each one. Uh, in several of the offices, there are mar beautiful marble fireplaces that are original. Antique furniture, stained glass windows, and even some of the old safes have also been preserved. But what has not been saved are the names of the two men who each day stare out upon the county. The recent discovery of old stereoscope pictures of the courthouse did nothing to solve that mystery. But Janet will keep on searching. Remember the past, celebrate the present, look toward the future. It's, the past is important, but we have to live today. But we have to think about the next generation and teach them that it's more than just stone and old books. Well, court was in session the day of our visit, and unlike the celebrated O.J. Simpson trial, cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom. So we could only capture this image of a stained glass state seal from outside the court.